What's up, this is your boy JT Automation back in with another video. I'm still at the lake house, as you guys can tell by the back deck area. I'm actually on the top back deck. You guys saw the bottom back deck in the previous video. Appreciate everybody's love and support for the previous video as well. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. In that video, we talked about businesses that you can start today and make six and seven figures completely offline. For those of you out there that aren't really tech savvy or internet savvy, you can check that out. In this video, I want to give you some gems that if you listen to them and apply them to your life, you're guaranteed to make money right after the intro. Listen to me, I'm going to teach you how to make a lot of money. That's what everybody on the internet says, right? Those of you that have been rocking with me from day one, you know I pride myself in practicality. But for the benefit of the new people, again, this is not the brag or the boast, but I know some people this might be the very first video you're watching of mine. I'll put my total for today right here on the screen so you guys can see it. This amount of money and more is what you can make each and every day. This is just one of my income streams. You guys know I'm the king of multiple streams of income and encouraging you you to diversify thyself or diversify your incomes as well but just so you guys know who you're talking to and is this somebody that's actually making money and this is not youtube money for those of you that have youtube channels that are monetized you already know this is not what the back end of youtube looks like i'm a practitioner that actually makes money off of applying the information that i tell you are these videos monetized? Yes, but I also get paid by applying the information that I'm teaching you to do as well, right? That's my quick disclaimer for the new people, but for the people that have been rocking me for a while, you already know what it is. Highly recommend it that you start off with your customer before you even start thinking of what product or service you want to sell, because once you know who your customer is, then you can identify what product or service will give them the most value. Then whatever product or service you develop with them in mind becomes easier to sell. Far too many people will create a product or service they want to sell and then force it down somebody's throat. And then they get upset when that man or woman says, I don't want it. They'll say, well, you need this. This can help you in all of these ways, but it's not something that they want. And the worst business to be in is in a business that has to change people's mind so that's why I always encourage people if you're starting off as an entrepreneur before you even develop a product or service develop a customer profile a customer avatar the easiest way to guarantee that you make money as an entrepreneur is think about what didn't you know five to ten years ago depending on your age right no I got a mixed crowd so maybe ten years is too far back for some of you but I want you to ask yourself what didn't you know five to ten years ago that you know now and knowing that information or knowing how to do that thing whatever that thing is that you now know how to do that you didn't know how to do in the past how has that helped you and can you teach somebody how to do that thing for themselves or can you sell them a product or a service where you do that thing for them the reason why is because if you study business part of studying business you'll quickly understand that the best customer for you oftentimes regardless of who you are watching this video is the man or woman that you were five to ten years ago why because you understand where that person comes from all right five to ten years ago i was homeless i understand what it's like to be homeless and have people talk down to you and say hey you should go get a real job you should give up on entrepreneurship and i know what that feeling is like where you say hey i am willing to die on my own sword to be successful as an entrepreneur i don't care what anybody says so i can talk to the men and women that feel that way because i was that man or woman who felt like you know what no matter what I'm going to make this work or I'm going to die trying. I'm not the guy that ever was the type to make up an excuse as to why I couldn't be as successful as I wanted to be because everybody can't be like that or this person had a different starting point and their parents had money and they came from this place and they look like that and they're this color or that color. 
I never gave myself those excuses. I never felt like I was inferior for any reason at all. So while I can help those people, if you are somebody who used to be that type of man or woman, you actually can empathize with them even more because you can reflect back as to how you felt and what did it take to persuade you to have that paradigm shift so now you're thinking on a higher level and then you can help teach them what you learn to help you have that same breakthrough other than that you also have an idea of their motivation because like we said a second ago even though you can have a product or service that can help them or that they need to have you may have been in a similar situation where somebody said hey you should do this it'll help you lose weight but if you were not motivated to do that to lose weight then you had no incentive to invest whether it's financially, whether it's your time or otherwise into that product, service or information so that you can get that result. Because your customer avatar is who you were, you know what motivated you. You knew how to speak the language that would change your mind. So now it'll be easier for you to reach those men and women that, again, are currently at where you've already been and overcame. I know it might feel like I beat that first point home a little bit too much, but I'm telling you, if you do the first part right, everything else becomes way easier for you to make money. And if you listen to me, you will make money. Now, the second thing that you should do is you should develop your concept and then establish proof of concept that's different from creating your product or service and marketing that for people to buy. This is more so you developing a sample or you developing your idea enough for you to establish grounds to start selling pre-orders. The reason why this is always super important to do is because we interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Oh, wait, wait. I know in this video, we're going over three simple steps that if you listen to me, you'll make money as an entrepreneur, but I got this PSA for you. If you're seeing this, then that means two things. One, by the grace of God, I live to see 32, so today is my birthday. Secondly to that, I also want to let you know that if you pre-ordered my book, check all of the folders in your email, spam, wherever else emails may go. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody that pre-ordered the book. The download link is already in your email. Whatever email you used when you pre-ordered the book, that's where you received the email from Book Funnel to download your ebook. For those of you that missed the pre-order, don't worry about it. My ebook is still available. It's out now. It's going to teach you how to buy real estate property for a thousand dollars or less, or get paid just for trying. Yes. You're going to either buy real estate property for $1,000 or less or get paid just for trying. And for those of you that have been asking, can you do both? Can you buy property for $1,000 or less and get paid for trying? The answer is yes. All of that is in my new ebook. Link down in the description below. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. The reason why this is always super important to do is because if people won't pre-order your product or service, it's a good chance that they won't order your product or service if you invest a large sum of money in producing the product or the services that you'll later render for sale. Far too many times people will just dump a ton of money in getting products made or getting everything they need to render the proper services, but they have no proof of concept. They didn't develop that concept, share it with people in their target audience, and then start trying to pre-sell it at a discounted price to see if people would be willing to invest in that product or service at the price point that they need to sell it at to do real business. You can literally pre-sell anything. You could pre-sell clothes. You could pre-sell books. You could pre-sell shoes. You could pre-sell food, right? My motto is if you can't pre-sell it, you can't sell it, right? And it that doesn't mean that your product or service is trash. That could mean that you didn't do a great job of explaining its value. You could have not have done a comprehensive enough job in developing the concept so that it actually yields enough value for people to be willing to invest in it at the price point you need to sell it at to do real business, right? There's a lot of factors that go into it. So just because it doesn't pre-sell doesn't mean that it's a trash idea. However, I would not go further with any idea, any product or service until I'm able 
to start getting consistent pre-sales. For those of you curious to know how I quantify consistent pre-sales to say, yes, it's now time for me to go to the next level. I understand that a lot of consumers can't stand delayed gratification. So I don't expect to get as many pre-sale orders as I'll get regular orders once I fully develop my concept. But I do want to see at least a third of the amount of sales that I need to make in order to get what I want out of this business, out of this idea before I move further with the next steps, right? So if you can get 33% or better of sales coming in consistently on pre-order over a 30 day time frame, right? Then I would say now you've developed a strong enough concept and established enough proof of concept to move forward and use that money that you raised in pre-sales to invest back in your business to finish developing that product, that service and start getting your business off the ground. Third and final tip that I have for you is for the first eight months of your business, live as if you haven't made any money in your business. What I mean by that is that, yes, you're going to continue to pre-sell items until you develop a proof of concept strong enough to yield you 30%, 33% at a minimum of the amount of sales you would like to have come in. If you don't get that many sales, you'll produce just enough to service the orders that you have, but I wouldn't start scaling up the business beyond pre-orders until I develop my idea, my concept, my brand enough that I can at least pre-sell that much volume, right? I'm telling you, a lot of people don't do this step. A lot of people spend a lot of money, get frustrated when the money doesn't come back the way that they imagine it, and that's because they don't do this. So listen to me if you really want to make money. But the third step is for eight months, eight months start after you move past the pre-sale period it does not mean blow all of the pre-sale profits. You should invest 100% of the pre-sale money back into the business. But once you build up pre-sale orders to that 33 or higher percentage, then what you should do during those eight months, all of the money that your business makes, you should invest in marketing, building your brand, up in your inventory, putting a little money aside for insurance, saving a little bit in your business account separate from your personal account so that you can cover unforeseen emergencies, taxes, all of those things that we know come up in our business. But you should not take any profit for yourself personally. I don't care how much time and effort that you put in up until you cross over eight successful months in business. The fact that you may not know the majority of businesses go out of business because they never get their customer acquisition costs above the lifetime value of their customer. What that means in layman's terms is that they spend more money marketing than they make off of a customer. They spend $100 on Facebook ads to sell somebody a $20 shirt. They didn't make $20, they lost $80. So what you're doing in that eight months is building up a brand, retargeting those happy customers and making them repeat customers and selling them more and more of your products and services upselling them, turning them into super fans, advocates and affiliates of your brand and not just pulling money out, starving your business as the term is called. Somebody like me that comes from a low income environment, as soon as you see your first $10,000 in profit, you might say, hey, it's time to reward myself. Let me go treat myself just a little bit. I'm gonna go out and do this or buy that. And I'm telling you what you wanna do is not start pulling money out before eight months. You want to build your business up in that eight month time frame, and that's at a minimum, right? Because if you don't do all of these things right, you might have to wait even longer. So these are minimums. These are not in stone as the maximums. The maximums are going to be however long it takes you to get it right. But I want you not only to make money, I want you to consistently make money, right? That's my goal here for each and everybody that invests their most important asset with me which is your time not your money you, it took time for you to watch this video this video was completely free to watch it didn't cost you a dime but it took time for you to watch this video and I care about that because that's time you'll never get back so for eight months you want to build up your business so that it's self-sustaining so that your ads are running on autopilot, your brand is growing on autopilot, sales and retargeting are coming in on autopilot and however you were living 
before you started this business, that's how you're going to live for those eight months. So off of that nine to five job, off of that side hustle, off of that, whatever you were doing before, you have to have the discipline and have the delayed gratification enough to say, I'm willing to wait until my business is self-sustaining enough where it can run without me because real businesses can run whether you're there or not. That's why you need to have a business system so that whether you hire me, you do it yourself, or you hire a stranger off the street, you can teach me or whoever your system. And if we do your system, we should get the same exact results. How do you treat your customers? How do you generate leads? How do you qualify those leads? How do you close those leads? How do you retarget them? Everything, all of the nuances that go into building your business into a success, that's your system. And that's what you're gonna be learning figuring out and documenting during these eight months while you live off of the same amount of money you were living off of prior to starting this business. I know it's going to be tough. I do it now. I've done it in the past. It's going to be a lot of temptation for you. But if you do these three simple things, develop a customer avatar that is a replica of the deficiencies that you had five to 10 years ago, doing pre-orders before you scale up your business. If you can't pre-sell it, you can't sell it. And third, once you qualify that concept, you develop enough proof of concept behind that idea, the clock starts there, and for a minimum of eight months, you don't take a dime of profit from your business. Instead, you invest all of that money back into the business to build systems whether it's software hiring people or whatever it is based off of the needs of your business, right? Build that so that your business is self-sustaining. And then after eight months, not only can you take profits, you could take a vacation, right? Far too many people, they'll build highly successful businesses. They can never go on vacation. Heaven forbid they ever get sick because the money stops when they stop. That's not real business, right? I've been there before and because I went through that, I want to try to encourage you all as to what you can do that I wish I would have done differently because it would have saved me a lot of time. I would have made more money. I would have been a better entrepreneur for it. And I want you to not make my mistakes. That's why I'm giving you this game in each and every video, right? Final thoughts for anybody that watched the video this long. Comment down below what you would like to hear me talk about in future videos that will help you become a better entrepreneur. This is the disclaimer, though. If you're not really ready to do whatever it takes, then there's no amount of information anybody can give you that is going to help you. You got to be willing to make the sacrifices to invest in the knowledge. If you don't know everything right to invest the time, to invest the money in applying the knowledge once you have the knowledge and then being willing to wait it out and build up a legitimate business or investment stream for yourself. But if you are the type of man and woman that are willing to do what it takes, as long as it's logical, as long as it's ethical and moral, right? I'm your guy for that. Comment down below in the comment section what videos you would like to see in the future. Till next time, so much for stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.